What do you think about when someone mentions the term realism? Artworks and images that look more real? Yes, in a way that's correct. But the word real also has to be quantified. Real in what sense? Realistic shapes and forms? Realistic color? Realistic lighting? Realistic subject matter? Or realistic experiences? Realism generally refers to realistic portrayals of subject matter and content, artworks that closely resemble everyday life. When it comes to describing the physical characteristics of an artwork, you want to use the word naturalism. This refers to things like shapes, colors, forms, lighting, shadows, such being more realistic and more closely representing the natural world. Think of realism being more concerned with the narrative and naturalism being more concerned with the visual appearances. Realism is generally regarded as the opposite of idealism. Idealism illustrates subject matter in pursuit of higher principles and goals, while realism prefers to depict everyday situations and be more truthful to social realities. For instance, this neoclassical painting by Botticelli depicts ideal bodies in a beautiful fantasy landscape, while this painting by Jean-Francois Millet depicts a working-class woman raking hay. Naturalism, in essence, is the opposite of abstract and stylized. For instance, in this abstract and stylized painting by Henri Matisse, we can pretty much tell that it is a depiction of an interior scene with furniture, objects, a human figure, and a window that looks out to an exterior landscape. However, these subjects are not depicted naturally. There are no natural lights and shadows, there's no realistic geometry or perspectives being depicted. The scales of objects are completely off and a lot of subject matter is being represented by simple geometric shapes and flat colors. In comparison, this painting by Peter Paul Rubens of Venus and Adonis is highly naturalistic. Figures are painted with correct and proportional anatomy, and in addition, natural colors and shadows are used. Although this work by Rubens is considered a work of naturalism, it is not considered a work of realism. For one, the content of this painting is a story of classical mythology involving ideal gods and goddesses. Two, you're not very likely to come across a scene like this just walking through the countryside, at least not in my experiences. I don't imagine there are too many curvy naked ladies just hanging around the countryside with their, their babies that have wings growing on its backs. It's just not representing reality in a usual sense. Anyway, you're more likely to be walking across the countryside seeing a hardworking woman raking hay in the 1800s, anyway. Realism as an art movement originated in Europe in around the mid to late 1800s. In a general sense, it was a response to the idealistic constraints of neoclassicism, as well as the theatrical and dramatic nature of Romanticism, which were styles that were dominant in European tastes in the preceding century. In addition, social changes such as the French Revolution, as well as the Industrial Revolution, caused many social thinkers, including artists, to focus on realities, often harsh realities, that included the lives of working class citizens and rural peasant farmers. Can a work of art be considered realism and naturalism at the same time? Of course. For example, Gustave Courbet's paintings are very representative of realism, such as this painting showing working class stone breakers. At the same time, his compositions and figures are also painted in very naturalistic ways. Your homework is to find a work of art that represents realism, but not naturalism, as well as a work that represents naturalism, but it's not realism. It doesn't have to be paintings, it can be photography, it can be drawings, prints, watercolors, or it even can be sculptural. Leave it in the comments below, or tweet at me, or send me a message. Thanks very much for watching, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to come up with. And as always, feel free to ask me a question in the comments below. And if you don't already subscribe, I highly encourage you to hit the button, or uh, click on the link in the bottom on the side, I don't even know where.